Hi, welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, and we are on the ground at Google with CloudNow, which is a nonprofit organization for women in cloud computing and converging technologies, really focused on mentoring uh, women at various stages in their careers. We're very excited to be joined tonight by one of the, of the, the VIPs, Dora Koropar, who has a very interesting background. Uh, Dora, welcome to theCUBE, first and foremost. Thank you. Talk to us a little bit about what you're doing. You're at the Holberton School, which is is yes. um, a very interesting uh, education program. Mm -hmm. What is that all about and, and what sparked your interest in that uh, type of education? Sure, so um, Holberton School is um, a two-year college alternative um, that is kind of project-based and so the idea is to, instead of like being bogged down with like textbooks and lectures and stuff like that, we do everything uh, based on projects. So we're like hands-on completely. We're doing projects that are like relevant in the industry right now. Um, software engineering industry um, and yeah uh, kind of what sparked my interest I guess is um, I had a friend uh, in college who he was a German and philosophy double major wow. right which is like what are you gonna do with that <laughs> yeah. yeah and I ran into him a couple years after graduation and I asked him what he was doing and he was like oh I just got a job at Apple and I was like wait what yeah. he was like yeah I taught I like taught myself how to do all this stuff like online and I was like People can do that, yeah, right? Yeah. So um, I kind of started looking into it. I started doing some stuff on my own online, and then I found this school that was taking its applicants for its uh, first class, actually. And I was like, this is awesome. I could, you know, because like learning on my own for me is just, um, I kind of miss the having the environment of like people who are doing, yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. Yep, yeah. people who are doing like the same stuff. And I was like, this school is perfect because I get to like basically do what I'm doing now, which is like, working on projects, like making websites, whatever. Um, but I can do that within this environment. So that's kind of why I applied and then I and got And you're in, you're yeah. in the, the very first class. So when yes. did you start? Yes, uh, we started in January. Okay, so just mm -hmm. a, a little bit yeah. less than a year ago. And yeah. Dora and I were talking offline and laughing at that. We both have degrees in biology and neither of us are doctors. <laughs> so yeah. talk to us about, you know, from an end goal perspective when you graduate, sure. what is it that you're going to achieve and, and where are you hoping to go from there? Okay. Um, so I actually kind of went into the school without really having any concrete goals. I was just like, like programming is something that I actually enjoy. You know, like let me see where this leads. And um, now I've actually got a job, so I kind of have my feet in the door in the industry. Um, and honestly, I would, I think, like to start my own company at some point. Like, Fantastic. Yeah, I'd like to, you know, work in the industry for some years, get some experience under my belt, because I am so new and have like no prior experience. But I think, um, and end goal would be to start my own company. Fantastic, so you talked about your friend who was the double major in German yeah. and philosophy as being kind of an influencer and yeah. you're going, wait, you can do that? Yeah. Um, as, as we're at Cloud Now, this event, mm -hmm. that's that's a nonprofit for women that's mm -hmm. really focused on kind of creating this value-driven meritocracy, totally. looking at being as, as um, um, successful as you want to be, looking forward, I want mm -hmm. to start my own company. Who are some of the people that are influences in your life now that are going sure. to lead you to go, I can do this? Yeah, um, so I would say um, one of the school's founders, uh, his name is Julian. Uh, he has been, he's like set up all of these things for me, you know, he like got me into this cloud now thing and like he's been super helpful and like super influential in like getting, not just me, just all of the students um, like motivated and making sure that we're doing something that we actually enjoy, which I think is like a huge part of, especially like in this industry too, you know, like if you if you don't like it, you're not gonna do well kind right. of thing, you know? One of the things too that I'd, I'd love to get your opinion on is, sure. is looking at, you know, those younger girls who'll be looking up to you, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> your kind of non-linear path to where yeah. you are. We talked, I have a very similar background. I think mm -hmm. that's an important message for girls to Absolutely. understand that yeah. you don't have to know what you want to do totally. when you're even 18. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you would advise young Dora, <laughs> you know, maybe 10 years ago, yeah. and probably kind of surprised that you're here where you are now, but looking back, mm -hmm. what are some of the, the things that you've learned that you would advise a younger you? Mm -hmm. um, I guess, honestly, like, don't worry about it would be a big one, because I was always like, I don't know, should I do this, should I do that? Kind of, I didn't, I didn't really know. And so I think that scared me even from trying a lot of things. So I think my like biggest piece of advice would be like just kind of go for it. Just see what you want to do. And like if you like it, awesome. Like you don't have to stick with it if you don't, you know. 
Absolutely, and especially yeah. being in Silicon Valley, there's a tremendous oh, amount totally. of opportunities. Yeah. You mentioned kind of how you got to the Cloud Now event. Really, networking mm -hmm. is such an important totally. component of yeah. that, and it sounds totally. like you've been uh, certainly a, a benef beneficiary of that. Mm -hmm. um, so, last question for you is kind of um, at the event tonight, what have been some of the, the, the keynotes I have mm -hmm. presented, and we've actually spoken with both of them. What mm -hmm. are some of the things that, that stick in your mind that were really like, wow, that's kind of a guiding light I yeah. want to embody? Yeah, um, I think um, I want to say your name right. My. My uh, Lon. Yes, yes, thank you. My yeah. Thompson Bukovec, yes. Yes, wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think her speech was really uh, motivating just because she was talking about innovation and how it's like a skill that you can learn, which I think yeah. is a really important mindset to have, you know, because a lot of people are like, oh, maybe I don't, I don't have the talent for this or like I'm not cut out for this. We're like, actually, you could. You just have to, you know, try. You have to put in some hours. You have to do some work, and it like it's a thing that can be learned. It's not something that you're just born with. Exactly. You know? Exactly. I love that. Yeah. No, nobody's born with innovation. Exactly. I think one of the things yeah. that that I see that you embody is you embody confidence. I'm gonna <laughs> try something, and a lot yeah. of us aren't born with that. But having mm -hmm. that um, that goal that maybe is a little bit scary. Yeah. Is if it's uh, to me if it doesn't scare you a little bit. Yeah. Is it worth doing? Exactly. Yeah. You have and to I, push your boundaries. A absolutely. Bit. And mm -hmm. really having that belief that I can do this. Mm -hmm. Um, that there's not going to be anybody that's going to intimidate me, maybe yeah. my own self, but learning <laughs> as you go along the way to resolve some of those. I, I've also heard similar messages tonight. So, yeah. well, Dora, thank you so much for being here. Thank Best you. of luck thank in you so much. your uh, academic career and in starting your own company <laughs> in the you. next few years. Hopefully, when yeah. you're a CEO, we'll have you back <laughs> on theCUBE. Awesome, thank you so much. Absolutely. You've been watching theCUBE, I'm Lisa Martin, and I want to ask you if you know a woman who should be featured on theCUBE and filmed in our Palo Alto studios, tweet us at theCUBE, hashtag women in tech. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.